Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Unfolding: Big Dem just arrested at headquarters attempting to kill Trump supporters. British novelist and philosopher Aldous Huxley said, "The propagandist's purpose is to make one set of people forget that certain other sets of people are human." It seems that is the current goal of the leftist progressive factions with cries of racism and Nazi as the dehumanization of those deemed their political and ideological foes. It is a means to make harassment and violence against conservative, Christian, right-leaning, Republican, Trump-supporting factions look normal along with inciting a mob-like mentality against any group which they perceive as having a different ideological thought process. Free thought will not be tolerated. Currently, just seven days into the month of July there have already been 13 instances of violence, harassment, refusal of service, etc. against those publicly showing support for Republican and conservative ideologies, or even libertarian ones, showing support for President Trump, the hashtag walkaway campaign, etc. Breitbart reports a running total of 190 acts of leftist and media-sanctioned violence and harassment against Trump supporters since January 5, 2016, just prior to President Trump's inauguration. And here we go again. Yet another emotionally unhinged radical leftist has heeded the call from the mainstream media and Representative Maxine Waters CAD, to attack Trump officials and supporters. This time it is a radical progressive Democrat, known as Martin Ostroff. The 72-year-old was arrested by Suffolk County Police in Long Island, New York for making terroristic threats against GOP candidate Congressman Lee Zeldin, President Trump, and their supporters. Ostroff, police said, went to the campaign headquarters of Congressman Zeldin and became irate with a campaign worker at approximately 11.15 a.m. after threatening to kill the campaign worker and other supporters of the GOP representative, Astroff backed his car up in an aggressive manner nearly striking the worker. Astroff fled the scene and was arrested shortly after in front of his Wisconsin home. According to the Star-Telegram- Police say an angry Long Island man nearly backed over a campaign worker moments after saying he wanted to kill supporters of President Donald Trump and U.S. Representative Lee Zeldin, both Republicans. Martin Estroff was charged Friday with making a terroristic threat and reckless endangerment. The 75-year-old was jailed pending a Saturday arraignment. Information on his lawyer wasn't immediately available. A message on his home phone wasn't immediately returned. Suffolk County Police say Estroff confronted campaign worker Donato Panico at Zeldin's campaign headquarters. They say he aggressively backed up his car and nearly struck Panico before speeding off. Zeldin has represented parts of Long Island since 2015. He says he's received threats since Trump's election. He tweeted on Saturday that Trump's son, Donald Jr., had reached out to make sure Panico was OK. The New York Post reported of the incident dash. He was expected to be arraigned Saturday on a felony charge of making a terroristic threat, and on second-degree reckless endangerment charges. Zeldin, a fervent Trump backer, decried the attack on Friday night. In the U.S., political scores are settled at the ballot box, not by trying to KL your political opponents, he tweeted. Donato Panico is a great American, a supporter of at real Donald Trump in one of my campaign volumes he shouldn't have been targeted like this today for his passion and involvement. Panico a former deli owner from Smithtown, was Zeldin's guest at Trump's State of the Union address earlier this year, in recognition of his efforts to feed ground zero workers in the aftermath of 9-11. In another tweet, Zeldin identified Astroff as a NY1 Dem. PPL shouldn't fear death or serious injury for backing their prey and rep, he wrote. On Monday, Senator Rand Paul, Republican Kentucky, said that he and his family had received threats from a person who said they would be chopped up in an axe attack. A suspect was later arrested. Both incidents come at a time of heightened political tension since Rep. Maxine Waters, Democrat California, go to followers to push back on Trump administration members when they appear in public. Tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere, she said on June 23. The man's irate behavior was just the latest in a long line of attacks against Trump administration officials and his supporters. It seems generations of dumbing down, of being indoctrinated, of being told what to think, rather than taught how to think have taken its toll on the American populace. Many cannot convey a linear thought process coherently, let alone make logical conclusions. Rather than a discussion of different ideas, agreeing to disagree, people respond with emotional tirades and violence. Whether those ideologies are your own or not is irrelevant. Whether you support President Trump, or wherever you consider yourself in the political spectrum is also irrelevant. What is relevant is that this affects us all.
Do not be foolish enough to think that your ideology is safe from attack, whatever it may be. You are only as safe to express your own ideological opinions as that of your opposition. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.